Well, the tall city says it's cracking down on rundown and abandoned buildings with the help of an amended ordinance. Earlier today, the Midland City Council agreed to adopt the substandard buildings code. News West 9's Lily Beth Vias breaks down what this means for property owners. The tall city is changing its direction against rundown and abandoned buildings. The motion carries unanimously. On Tuesday, the new version of the building regulations under Chapter 8 reached the final stage of approval from the Midland City Council. The current code requires us to notify the property owner and gives it quite a few different hurdles uh, before we're able to secure the building. Which means that as of April 1st of this year, the dangerous and dilapidated buildings code will now be the substandard buildings code. And so this change allows us to secure the building and notify the owner at the same time um, so that we don't have the time lapse. It's a shift in rules brought forth by the need to address structures like the Vaughn building in downtown Midland. Uh, we believe that it does pose a, a public threat to our community and so we want to get it secured. Uh, we've received permission from the owner of the building to clear the building from people that we know are entering and, and potentially leaving things in that building. The Vaughn building is expected to be cleared by the fire marshal before its doors are boarded during the first week of April when the amended code is set to roll out. When we look at some of the concerns of buildings that are related to, you know, vacant buildings in our community, many of them have existed in their, in their dilapidating state over the past 40 years. The cost of boarding things like the doors of a building will all come out of the pockets of the property's owners. The cost of securing these buildings is going to be covered by the owner of the property. So the city will initially incur that cost, but a bill will be sent to the property owner in the event that they choose not to pay that bill, then a lien will be filed against the property for the amount of that invoice. Lily Beth Vias, News West 9.